All right, Void. I am now showered and back to it. Okay. Next one I saw on Shutter was one I had seen before, and I saw that I'm, even before I was reviewing things, I would do these horror binges. So that's that's pretty good in October. So that's that's nothing new. And this is a movie I actually watched on one of them a few years before, and that was uh, a girl. Then a girl walks home alone at night. And, well, I did really, I did enjoy it. It was one of those movies that I was curious about and wanted to see a little bit more for, but as it was, it was good. I did enjoy it. Now, it prides itself on being the first Iranian vampire western. That's a good genre. Now, I'm not all completely sure on that, because there is a lot of Hollywood in this movie. Well... The language is Persian, and it's sort of made to look like that area, but where it's set Bad City doesn't really... it's a fictional place, so it could really be anywhere. Problem is, it's shot in America, and there's a lot of American backing to this film. Mostly because I think a lot of the, the uh, sexual content of this wouldn't fly in Iran particularly with having a female director. Well, so I did really like it, but the claim to it being the first actual Iranian film vampire western may be a little dubious, but it is a, I will say, it's a, then Persian language, Iranian director, Iranian cast, but it was all brought to America to film, so close? I don't know. Now, plot's kind of hard to describe on this one, as it's sort of like a gothic fever dream. But, uh, essentially, uh, a main character, Arash, is, uh, well, he's, uh, on the outs with his junkie father, he's running, uh, butting heads with the drug dealer slash pimp, in town, there's a pros then there's a prostitute that's getting slapped around by the pimp, and amidst all of it, there's a mysterious girl who's just walking at night and finds her way into these people's lives and usually preys upon them. So with Arash, she meets him as he is a little bit high and ends up striking a strange conversation with him before inviting him back to her place, and, well, the two end up having a strange sort of romance. This film is very hard to describe. It's black and white, very moody, very artistic. This movie's artsy as hell. It's very subdued. The vampirism scenes are very minor. It's kind of hard to describe uh, this movie properly. It's... It's kind of a, feels like a throwback to like old school Hollywood, like a film noir kind of style. I think it's interesting. I don't know how to exactly rate this movie because it is very slow paced. You have to be ready for that, and there is just a lot going on. You have to take in as it goes, as it's pretty much walking to people's terrible lives being terrible. And our main character is just trying to get by. Well. And that's just kind of how Bad City is. I will say, the cat was a standout actor. I don't even know how the, why the cat got involved in the movie. Essentially, the main guy just steals the cat and brings it home. And then his father begins to believe the cat is his, mother, his wife reincarnated. And this movie gets weird. But then he just keeps carting the cat around, being stuck with it. But the cat is also almost a telltale thing for who attacked his father. Uh, there's a lot going on in this movie. It's really hard to describe. But I do recommend it. Uh, the fact that I was wanting more at the end, it would gladly watch the sequel. I know there's kind of some comics that follow around this. Also, it's interested that 
the main female lead is never really given a name other than just the girl. But uh, she is a charming lead for the vampiric loner. Um, it's almost hard to talk about. But I liked it. I'll give it back to the Seven MacGuffins, actually. It's definitely one that draws you in and it pulls you into this terrible world and you do want to see how these people get along in it. The movie came out in 2014. It's it's worth a watch. If you're interested in something a little bit off the beaten path, particularly if you're a fan of strange foreign films, give uh, A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night a try. It's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, though. I will easily say that off the bat. Well, sounds interesting. Give it a try. Have a good night, and I'll see you guys shortly.